It is 6.03 right now, time for more of your top stories in the morning rush. A prominent group of Denver area ministers is calling for the Aurora Police Department to fire some of its officers. We're fed up with your apologies. Yeah, yeah. We're fed up with your retraining and your de-escalation. That's right. It's time for change. Leaders from the Greater Metro Denver Ministerial Alliance spoke over the weekend. They want officers involved in Elijah McLean's death and the incident where a family was detained when their car was mistaken to be stolen. They want those officers to be fired. Firefighters working on the Pine Gulch fire near Grand Junction are telling people north of the city to evacuate. The fire has been burning for more than a week. Strong winds and extremely dry brush have spread it fast. More than 25,000 acres have burned so far. Right now, I-70 westbound closed through the Eisenhower Tunnel. This is a live look there. There is a detour in place till 10 o'clock this morning to allow for paving west of the tunnel. Eastbound drivers won't be affected. Westbound drivers will have to go over a uh, repo pass. Today, both drivers, or both Denver and Aurora, I should say, are looking at changing their pit bull ban. The Aurora City Council holding a special meeting tonight to ask for people's opinions. And Denver City Council is taking a look at uh, putting legalization on the November ballot. XL Energy is asking permission to charge us more. The utility is asking state regulators to allow a rate hike to pay for wildfire safety work. XL says a typical customer's bill would go up by 49 cents a month. That is your morning rush.